my ratchet as lighting from my table lamp because I'm a ratchet as YouTuber with the harsh lighting but which gonna come up somehow right? Cool, good humor. They say I'm out of my mind. Hey babies! I'm back! Um, yeah, like you gotta handle my shadows because if not I look like a dark ass shit in the corner because my lighting doesn't work. <laughs> Anyways, today, like, um, remember the previous two videos? My stalker video, I was talking about paranormal activities that happened in my house as the intro. Well, I'm gonna talk about that today. But a lot of things happen in my house while I'm home. That like it normally happens when I'm alone, and it normally happens in this room. So, okay, bitches, staying in my house, I'm in the room right now. I'm talking about you guys, but obviously, I'm so used to it to the point that I ain't no scared of no bitch, you know. Sometimes my friends come over and give me nice shit, and I'll be like, ah, oh, yeah, it's just another family member. You know what I mean? But I'm so desensitized to this shit. <laughs> Um, okay, background story, I've been staying in this house since I was uh, six. Since I was six, so it's been a long time. And we didn't occupy this room until two years ago, if I'm not wrong. So this room was like our storeroom. And then my mom decided to just like, hey, if you need some of money, we do this room. So I did. And this is my room now, and because it's been occupied for quite a while, things happen in this room to me, especially for the first few months of me living in this room. But it's fine, I'm fine, we chill, we homey, sometimes it throws tantrums at me, but I'll be like, hey, this is my place now, get out of my place, you know what I mean? So, yeah, so some things that happen in my house is we have a home phone. You know those old home phone numbers, yeah. We have a home phone. We don't have a phone number. And it's not connected. Okay. But sometimes, it rings. It randomly rings. And everybody in the house, at first we get so creepy. Shut up! Okay, rule number one, freaking put your phone on like silent. <laughs> okay, anyways. um, Yeah, like... It rings randomly and at first everyone got shook because it's not connected, you know what I mean? So we just ignore it. First we like, oh damn, but now we just ignore the shit out of it. Like, it's just another passing stuff. Yeah. So that time my best friend came over, you know Hazira? Yeah, Hazira came over and then we were just chilling in my room. And the phone rang and she panicked and she's like, your freaking phone is ringing. I'm like, yeah, I know. Just let it be. Just let it ring till it ends. Or like, I hear voices. I see things. Like, the stuff that... Okay, normally the people who see stuff is me. Mostly me. Because I have a faint heart. But now I just don't give a shit anymore. You know, so that's why they don't bother. They don't find a thrill in scaring me anymore. It's a day because there's multiple. <coughs> I assume up. There's a lady, there's an old man, and there's a little boy. I feel like the old man is most predominant. Like the little boy don't really come around. Normally just the old man. But the lady comes was more often when I was young girl. Yeah. But was gushy, I don't care anymore. Yeah. And I hear things are like allergic hear things in my room. Okay, like, okay, that time I was FaceTiming and we were just talking, you know. And next moment I heard something fall from in my room. Like, I was just sitting on my study table with my laptop and something fell like, come on. Like, wow, sound effect. Okay, like, legit something fall. And this, I just like confirmed, like, through FaceTime, like, hey, do you hear that? And they're like, yep, I heard that. I'm like, this like this like two at that point time was two a.m. I was trying to study after the call, so <laughs> thanks for scaring the shit out of me. But I think I was just face, not faced by it. Can okay, just don't talk about shit that I see up here. Mm. Okay, at one point time during break before I started uni, we had this break. Okay, 
I had this break from quitting my job at Uber to starting school. I think I had about a month break. So during that one month, obviously I'm going to utilize it by staying up, watching Netflix, right, YouTube, doing that teenager stuff that my sister says I am. So I did all that stuff and every time around 2 a.m. I will hear voices in front of my door, like someone talking. So I always assume like, why the hell is my sister always on the phone with her boyfriend? Like, you know, her room is just right beside. So I always assume that she opens the door. She has to walk past my door to go to the hallway and go all the way to the living room to pass the kitchen, right? So I always assume, why the hell is she always on the phone with her boyfriend? Like at this time at 2am in the morning, like always consistently like, really girl, you don't know how to sleep. <coughs> Because it was January at that point of time, and if I'm not wrong, she was schooling. So I'm like, she don't know how to sleep, she has school the next day, you know. And then one day while I was like cooking dinner with her, I just casually asked her, like, hey, have you been on the, on your, on the phone with your boyfriend? Like, every night at 2am, I always hear you do that, like, open the door. And then she'll be like, no, I haven't been going out at night go to the kitchen to get snacks or I haven't been talking to my boyfriend at night so I'm like bis bis what have I been hearing every night talking on the phone right in front of my door for a couple of minutes but what do you want from me bis what do you want from me honestly Okay, I just found the text. So basically, I texted my sister at 2.39 a.m. I asked her, are you awake? And she's like, yeah, why? I'm like asking. Then I say, because you went out of your room, right? And then she's like giving me the confused face, that like sad crying face, and she says, no. And then I say, you didn't leave your room at all? And she's like, no. Then I said, you've been in the room the whole time? Like, silent face. They said, yeah. And then she gave a silent face. And then I say, oh, okay. Da, 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 da. And then she asked me, did you go out? Then I was like, I went out like five minutes ago. Then I came into the room. Then right after I closed the door, I heard a door open and a switch turn on. And my sister just said, that's what I heard. Then I, I say, I just opened the door just now to check. Girl sometimes has balls to do it. So when I actually opened the door to do to check, <coughs> the light was not on and no doors were opened. But my sister heard it too. So, it's not only me. This was around Margaret time, which is technically around 7, like sun, sundown. Like sundown time. Mama was in the kitchen. I was standing outside the kitchen like talking to her diagonally so from there she was looking when she's facing me right behind me would be the hallway to the rooms okay the hallway is normally dark like we don't always turn on the lights there we don't need to turn on it's the living room and our rooms if you're in it we don't turn on the lights in the hallway here so <coughs> from the kitchen she was looking like behind me is the hallway right she was talking to me and then next morning she just did this like looking behind me and then I was like what? she said nothing and she kind of talking to me then after that she just like paused I'm like what? she said oh I guess we have a little brother I just saw a little brother in the hallway and then when she looked at it he disappeared Bess like if y'all know me it's only me and my sister what little brother you talking about? But yeah. And that's not the only time the little brother appeared. Like, okay, this was for sunrise, guys. The sun was coming up. Same thing. <coughs> I was talking to my mom. I was crouched on the floor. No? Okay, um, how my living room to my kitchen would be? My living room is on the platform. My kitchen is slightly lower platform. So I was just sitting on that platform, my knees up, like hugging and I'm talking to her. It's like Saturday morning, you know, <laughs> catching up with my mom, 
having a good morning. I don't even know why I was awake that early, but I was. I was just talking to her, and she was standing in front at the breakfast table in the kitchen. She was talking to me. And how's your day? How's your week? You know, basic shit. And the next moment she asked me, Hey, where's your sister? I'm like, oh, I'm still probably sleeping. Why? She said, No, nothing. She kind of talking and talking and talking. Then she stopped. Then she said, The reason why I asked you was because I saw someone creeping behind of you and putting the hands around like at my shoulder, trying to scare me. You know how kids like to scare? Like, you know when you are having your friend, like you see your friend face back facing you and you see your another friend telling your friend like shh not to disturb her, I want to scare her. Well that's what happened. But my sister was asleep. So I believe that I have a little brother. For the stories we have right now currently because I don't know what's more like so many things happen in this house that I think it's I'm so used to it that I'm so not faced by it if you guys want more give it a like okay like this video and I'll tell you more I got stories outside of my house too if you all want to know because a lot of shit happens in my life I don't know why yeah, you know, like they just want to target me because I'm a. I guess I'm too pretty for them. <laughs> or maybe just because I have a weak heart, you know? Like, fish, scare me, and probably feed. You know what I mean? I can tell you more. Especially if you want to know about the story in Ubi. Be a like. I'm gonna tell you. And you guys, if you guys want to have a real Halloween horror night experience, comment down below. And like stay in my house for a night. That's a real Halloween horror night story compared to the USS one where people scare you. This one real things will scare you. So that's all for today. Give it a like. Subscribe to my video. I mean to my channel. You don't subscribe to my video. Subscribe to my channel so you can see more stories from me. Cause my life is a little bit crazy. Because I'm a little bit crazy. You see what I mean? And like turn on your notification button okay, to get notifications from me if I post But then again you don't know when I post because I don't even have a schedule for that But who knows I might have I'm gonna cough again <coughs> I'm sick <laughs> Anyways Okay Bye Peace I swear I heard something Peace I ain't talking to you Okay bye